Ronnie was as drunk as I'd ever seen him that night and was terrorizing both band and crew. I tried my best to avoid him and succeeded for the most part, directing John Butler to watch over him. I went to my room, hoping to avoid the whole mess. About an hour later, I was relaxing in my bed, watching a movie. That's when the expected knock on the door occurred. I crept up silently and peered through the spyglass to see an eyeball peering back at me. Open up. It was Gary. I swung the door open and he stepped in. You gotta do something, he said, then stood there, anxious, his hands clenching into fists every couple of seconds. What's wrong? I asked. What's wrong? Just about everything. He caught me completely off guard. As far as I knew, everything had been going quite smoothly. I haven't heard a word from anyone. I stepped back a few steps as he advanced. I wasn't sure what Gary was capable of. He had been very quiet up to this point. My mind started racing through events of the last week, trying to figure out exactly what could be going on. I drew blanks. What the hell are you talking about? Ronnie's drunk and he's going to beat the shit out of Billy. What? What did Billy do? I don't know. They just started arguing. Then it got louder and louder and louder, and right now they're at a standoff. I grabbed the microphone pouch I used to stash the cash and stuffed it down the front of my pants. It typically contained about $10,000. Let's go. I never left money in my room. It was always down the front of my pants where it was impossible to access without my knowledge. Gary led me back down to the bar. I could hear the commotion well before we entered. The bar itself was relatively quiet aside from my associates. A few suited salesmen still nursing the drinks at the bar, a couple in a dark corner. All of them turned around in their seats watching the action in the corner. Evidently, there was a fairly good floor show going on. Billy and Ronnie were both standing there opposite a table, glaring at each other. God damn it, Ronnie, I'm a member of this band too. I should have some say in what goes on. Billy's face was crimson. You'll do whatever I say. Ronnie stammered, not quite sloppy drunk, but drunk just the same. Whoa, whoa, what the hell's going on with you two, I asked, performing my first intervention. Both of them eased their hostility at each other, turning it against me instead. You mind your own business. He's all fucked up, and he wants me out of the band. He's always wanted me out of the band. No, he don't, Billy, Gary said calmly still clenching, unclenching his fist. Shut the fuck up, Gary. This ain't none of your business, advised Ronnie. Sounded like good advice at the time. Okay, what the hell is it then, I asked. Billy was too drunk to play tonight. He ruined the whole damn show, Ronnie stuttered, weaving a bit as he tried to maintain balance. And I ain't gonna have it. I had seen enough. Two drunks arguing over who was the most drunk. This was a no-win situation if I'd ever seen one. As Ronnie braced himself to start swinging, Gary swooped in, threw his arms over Billy's shoulders, and aimed him out of the bar. Ronnie and I watched them go, then Ronnie started scowling at me. I just sat down at the table. A moment later, Ronnie joined me.